Good morning, welcome to Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, busy morning, half day, looking forward to it. First van is just about loaded. Got four potatoes going there and then a couple of random shorts that are still being picked up. As soon as they get delivered, we'll top it off and that'll be one van ready to rock. It's a zoo around here. Went by the bakery that we get our bread from and picked up a couple sheets of focaccia bread. It's like my dad's favorite. And it's his, like, for Thanksgiving, we gotta have focaccia bread, man. I'm like, all right, I got you, dad. It smells so damn good. Oh, like my car is gonna smell like it for days. I love it. Um, so I ordered a sheet and my, my sales rep says, uh, well, I have two halves, will that work? I said, yeah, sure, two halves, one full, whatever. But those are, those are big. I'm like, um, yeah, those are big. So hopefully, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we need two of them. If not, there's definitely leftovers. So that's it. Um, headed back to the warehouse and do a couple things on the computer. And then I think that's it for the day. Uh, since we're closed tomorrow, we're not doing any shopping for tomorrow. We don't have our Salome Wickenburg route, which are big shopping. Um, Travis is taking the, the west route and taking it home. Uh, Victor's got the north route and he'll be back at a normal time. He'll lock up for us. So yeah, short day, which is awesome because that means I'm gonna go home and get to play New World for an additional hour or two than I would normally. So all that complaining I did yesterday, I manifested a light, a, a, a more play time today. 1.30, we're home. I did make a pit stop to Jersey Mike's to get a, uh, a sub. I'm kind of been craving an Italian sub. And of course, I, I can make my own, but it's a matter of buying all the ingredients and then really committing to eating this, eating these subs for, you know, a good week or two before things start to go bad. Um, and we got a Jersey Mike's nearby and I, like the first time I went to it was just maybe like a month ago with, with Bryce and Tiffany met up with us and I was like, so the sub is legit. Like this, this Italian sub, it actually has more meat on it than like an original, but that's what they call their original. And I'm very excited. Um, and because I don't get it very often, I always get the giant one, which is probably too much. I'm probably gonna stuff myself, but it's early enough and we don't have any dinner plans as of right now. So I'm not too concerned about it. It's one of those like, I'm going out, so let's splurge, you know? Um, I just caught Sierra and Bryce before they left. They're gonna to go to the grocery store to grab stuff to make, for Sierra to make her mac and cheese for tomorrow. Cause she's gonna make it tonight and then it's ready to go in the oven tomorrow is the plan. Um, and uh, so as soon as I'm done eating here, I'm going right back out uh, because I'm gonna go pick up something for Sierra's birthday, which is on Friday. So since uh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, most likely everything's closed, family day and I'm gonna be like out of the house. And then I work Friday. Um, I figured it'd be smart for me to go today and get her birthday present so that whether I leave it for her Friday morning and she opens it without me, or if I wait till I get home from work anyways, at least it's taken care of. With that being said, I was super excited to get off work early and come home like, oh, sweet. Like I said, like before, I was like, get home early and be able to do a long New World stream. But then I rem remembered that, oh no, dummy, you're supposed to go get Sierra's birthday gift today. So I'm off early to make to have time to do that and get back here at my normal time. Such is life. But at least I get to enjoy this amazing Italian sandwich. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I talked to Tiffany and apparently she's already got Sierra's, got some gifts for Sierra. And so she suggested some other things and I was like, I'm gonna order a cake. Sierra's always baking cakes for everyone else's birthdays. Obviously I'm not a baker, nor do I wanna try to bake a cake for her around her and surprise her. So I'm gonna, I ordered one. It's gonna be made uh, for pickup on Friday. So I'll pick it up on my way home from work. We're taking her out to dinner. She already picked a place out for dinner. It's a brand new place I've never been to. I'm really excited. She's excited. Uh, she's my little foodie. So we're excited to, to go to this new restaurant. Um, so obviously we're gonna take her to dinner, um, but I got ordered her a cake, customized it. So we'll pick that up. 
I'll pick her up some flowers. And on Friday on my way home, I can pick up just a couple little things. But Tiff already got like birthday present. So we're streaming. That's what we're going to do. All right. So I've been live for a little over an hour and uh, I figured it's time to try one of these out. So apparently today is Green Wednesday. So like Black Friday, but for cannabis dispensaries, uh, huge BOGO sales. Everything's 50% off. And uh, I really enjoyed that cannabis infused soda this weekend. So I decided to try cannabis infused seltzers. So basically alcohol free seltzers. I'm a big fan of White Claws and Trulies and that sort of thing. So hoping that these taste good. Uh, it's 10 milligrams of THC, CBC, and CBD. So it's a one to one to one ratio. Uh, this is a cannabis brewing company. And this is the, uh, they're called High Tides. I'm assuming to be, you know, uh, in comparison to uh, White Claws. And this is the Pineapple Passion Fruit. So we're going to crack one of these open and give it a try. First taste test. Uh, yeah, that basically tastes like a White Claw, but doesn't have that shitty alcohol flavor. Super light. Pineapple Passion Fruit. Ooh, that's really good. All right, well, we're cracking one open. Back to streaming. Sierra's in the kitchen making some mac and cheese. Apparently this is going on TikTok, going off on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So she's following the recipe to the T, melting cheese. You shredded that yourself? Yeah. She shredded her own cheese. Well, I mean, we used the food processor thing. Oh, but yeah, yeah, but so it, was, it was from a block. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jack, mozzarella, uh, Tippy's home, We're doing dinner. We got some salad kits and um, these, are these organic chicken chunks? I feel like they're organic because they're green. Anyway, it's like chicken breast chunks, not like necessarily chicken nuggets, but close enough. They're really good. Like they always have like their own seasoning on them. You eat them by themselves. Like they're like really good chicken nuggets. Of Chick fil A sauce. Cleaned up from dinner and I got 3,000 steps I need to get. So, one loop down Main Street around Founders Park should get the job done. And in the meantime, I get to check out uh, the current light festivities and decorations. A lot, a lot of these guys go all out. They did for Halloween, they do it for Christmas as well. Though, I, I, I honestly, honestly think Halloween's actually bigger. And they might have something to do with not everybody celebrates Christmas, Christmas, right? Not everybody celebrates Christmas. But it might also just be because it's still Thanksgiving weekend. Um, maybe next week we'll start seeing more and more pop up. See, just giant sculptures, big ass Santa Claus. How about the low light, huh? The low light looks nice. For context, this is regular with my color pass. So, still that much kind of, that much light, you see a lot. But this is what you would see with me. Now, this camera does have good low light. And granted, when I did my t initial testing, I don't think I was using the D-Log M and then the color. Because the color, it's, it's supposed to be like, you know, the darker, the blacks are darker, the whites are brighter. And so there's a lot more contrast, which is not great for that. When, like you can't really see me. If I'm standing here the whole time and I'm facing a light source, this is totally fine. This, the low light in this is great compared to like the G7X. It, it works really, really well. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I apologize. But I'm just in a, in a great mood. I got to come home and I streamed New World for almost four hours. Um, had a great little dinner, caught up with Tiffany and the kids. Bryce had a great time at his, uh, his ice skating last night with his friends. Um, Sierra's getting a little sick. She's a bummer. Thanksgiving's tomorrow. So she's hoping to feel better, but she's prepared to... Because my grandma and my mom both, you know, are, are uh, have really bad immune systems. And I mean, my grandma's 92. No, she's 91. She'll be 92 in December. And my mom's 66, but her health's not great. So it's one of those things where Sierra's 
probably gonna wear a mask when she's around them and stay, you know, and we'll stay outside for the most part, but just, you know, be more health conscious these days. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving and we're going to my dad's house. Everyone's bringing in a dish. Uh, Tiffany's parents and Jack and Gracie will be there as well. Um, so what are you looking forward to the most on Thanksgiving? What do you, what, is it something food related? Are you looking forward to some pumpkin pie or some stuffing? Are you big, huge fan of turkey? Or is there something else you're looking forward to? Is there a tradition that you and your family do? Like, oh, we start decorating the Christmas tree or we go to my grandma's house and she makes this amazing cranberry sauce. Like, what's, what is it you're looking forward to the most tomorrow? Let me know in the comments below. Look how bright this is. Oof. Let me switch back to normal mode. Oh man, that probably looks awesome. So like I said, my color's kind of uh, gray, gray scaled. You know, like I can tell it's red and white and green, but it's just kind of like n neutral. I bet you it looks awesome for you guys. Can't wait to edit. But yeah, another Santa Claus, big dog. And then these guys also got their decorations up. We're definitely gonna decorate this year. I'm gonna put the lights up this weekend. Sierra works both Saturday and Sunday, but she gets off earlier on Sunday. And Saturday she's going out with some friends for her birthday. So Sunday night is our night to decorate. So I will, while she's at work on Sunday, I'll put up lights, get those all up, get everything out for when she gets home so we can just put the tree up. That's pretty much become a, the kids thing. They get all the ornaments out and they really enjoy decorating the tree. They did it last year by themselves. It was, it was fantastic. The excitement that they get by doing something so simple as decorating the tree and pulling all the ornaments out and seeing all the ornaments, right? They've been doing it their whole lives. Oh, look at this one. I remember this one. Oh, mom, dad, remember this one? I guarantee you tomorrow, you, or this Sunday, watch, you'll see like, oh, you guys remember this one? Oh, I remember this. Like, you'll hear a lot of that. I love it. I love that my kids are, have that kind of imagination and joy at their ages. The fact that Sierra wants to be a, a, an elementary school teacher, like she'll forever be young, you know, cause she'll always be around little kids. She'll always, she'll never lose that childlike nature that I love about her so much. And Bryce, Mr. Gamer, kind of goes into the same vein that I've been talking about, that, that I talked about yesterday, about how I've always been a gamer. The podcast, actually, it was in the podcast. If you listen to the podcast, if you haven't listened to the podcast, it's about 45 minutes, and I talk about a lot of different things, but one of the things I talk about is how I've always been a gamer, but I've, like, even though I don't, like, I can call myself a gamer, but I've never been that so much into gaming that I played, like, a thousand different games and different IPs and different genres I played pretty much the same kind of games but the fact that I've literally been playing video games since I was a kid since I was a child you know Atari NES Super Gen Sega Genesis Super Nintendo Dreamcast you know GameCube PC PS3 PS4 I'm a gamer um and Bryce is obviously falling suit in that. Like I look forward to one day him being up in NAU and him and I playing some game. There's some game that we connect over and we play together because he's up in NAU. That's like the thing that we do together as father and son. And these guys are putting up the hoops, candy canes along the sidewalk, their entire, all in front of their house, all the way around. <laughs> it's awesome. These guys are the ones that had the Harry Potter decorations. Giant house on the corner, one of the biggest lots. It's pretty cool. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Reminds me of Vegas. So I'm coming around the, the big park here, and there's a big sign that says, Marry Me. Giant letters, bunch of lights, and I'm assuming rose petals. So somebody is either getting ready to propose or they just proposed. I don't know, I can't tell. You guys can see it. Other than the left, it says Mary Me, it's all lit up. There's like some candles, some lights. It's awesome. Got back from my walk and watched two episodes of Foundation. This stuff's getting so good, it's getting so weird. I absolutely love it. Um, anyway, it's 10 o'clock, I'm exhausted. I've been up since 3.30, you know, because it's basically a Friday. Fridays are hard for me to stay up late, but 
I made it through two episodes. I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, let me know in the comments down below your favorite item that you're eating, the thing you're looking forward to the most. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for our Thanksgiving.